Hey everybody, I just want to say I am a big fan of Heavy Cardboard and I think Ed and Amanda are doing a fantastic job and an important job covering a big portion of what's going on in modern board gaming. This doesn't get a lot of love elsewhere. All these wonderful, big, heavy, deep, meaty euros. Thanks Ed and Amanda for bringing them to us. And now that you're on YouTube, I'm an even bigger fan. Hey y'all, welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx, and thinky filler. So, today we are going to have another two-player grudge mm -hmm. match, uh, very apropos uh, today, that this is Queen Games Atten. So, it, I don't think it actually made either of yours or my top think, six Yeah, I don't fillers, think it did either. But it's one that I don't see leaving our collection nope. at any point either. So, it's designed by Thorsten Gimler and published by Queen Games. So, yeah. Aten, or Aten. It's, uh, it has a Egyptian theme to it, but it very, very much is an abstract two-player game, right? Probably won't take us more than 15, 20 minutes. We may play it best two out of three, depending on how quickly this goes. And yeah, that's about it. So big thanks to everybody watching live around the world, as well as y'all watching after the fact. And big thank you to Rado for the, uh, the support uh, for our patron drive. So you guys saw it at the beginning. You can support the, us on our patron, or during our patron drive mm -hmm. at pledgehc.com. We definitely would support it. Or definitely would appreciate the support. Yes. And we support and our we own would, Patreon. And we would also sure. support you guys, you know, supporting us on Patreon. There you go. That'll work. All right. Cool. All right. So I'm going to run us through a pretty quick teach of this game, mm -hmm. and then we're going to bust this out. Yeah. Shall we? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. All right. So Aten, or as we call it, Aten. It's a two-player uh, egyptian theme abstract game. The goal of the game uh, is to win. Yeah. And I say that because normally it's all about victory points, which is one of three, one of four ways in which you can win this game. So we have our scoring markers down here at the bottom. So Amanda's going to be playing blue. I will be playing red. The game ends when at any point we uh, resolve the four, first or the fourth cartouche, cartouche. my all-time favorite word in all of board games, <laughs> when one of, and one of these four triggers triggers mm -hmm. so when one of us reaches 40 points or more that's the obvious one or if one player uses all of their discs to completely control and ha have all 12 spaces in one of the temples filled or if one player has all of the yellow mm -hmm. or all of the green in all four of the temples yep so that's what triggers the end of the game so now the question is how do you play well, the game is entirely dictated by these four cards that you guys see. So we all have a big, fairly thick deck of cards that range from one to four. There is no other information mm -hmm. on these cards. They just range from one to four. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to draw four cards off the top of our decks. We have two identical decks. It's different that, colors, obviously. Yep. So we're going to draw four cards, and of those four cards, you may get multiple ones, multiple twos, so on and so forth. You're going to play one card face down to each of the four cartouche, or cartouches, cartouche I. Cartouche I. Right. Plural for cartouche. Sure. I'm kidding. Let's go with it. Uh, so we're going to play four cards. So let's say, for argument's sake, we'll do that. So I play these four face down, Amanda would play her four face down, and then we would turn them face up and resolve them. So first things first, if you would actually, Amanda, throw four cards out there, doesn't matter what they are. <coughs> and 
and that that uh, that cough is still here, so please bear with me, guys. All right. So we're going to resolve or compare the four cartouches of both players simultaneously. Mm -hmm. So the first cartouche gets compared against one another. And the first cartouche, uh, I played a two, Amanda played a one. Whoever has the higher value doubles the difference and scores that many mm -hmm. points. So two is obviously higher than one by one, so I would score two points. Easy enough. Boom, I'm on the board. That's all the first cartouche is. Mm -hmm. The second cartouche is to see who goes first for the rest of the round. Well, as you can see, we both played a one. Well, that's not going to help. So then we go back to the first cartouche and whoever played the higher number then will go first. So in this case, we break the tie. So I would go first for the rest of the round. The rest of the round shows that the third cartouche tells me what temples I can place my markers into. So I played a three, meaning I can play in up to the, the first three, mm -hmm. or temple one, temple two, temple three. And there are 12 spots available in which to place your markers. Then this uh, cartouche tells me how many of my discs I can play into those temples. So I have four discs here in which I can play into any of the first three temples. And I can place in any of the 12 open spots. If somebody already has a disc, whether it's me or Amanda, then neither of us can place into that location. So maybe I do something like one, two, three, and I choose to go there for number four. Mm -hmm. All right, so then Amanda would resolve hers. She could play in the first three temples. She only gets to place two discs, however, in the first three temples total. So I will select the two black there we squares go. in one. All right, so now we would then discard all of our cards, draw four more cards, rinse and repeat, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Yep. Okay, so we're just going to throw a few discs out here, if you would, Amanda, just in the various temples. And if you would throw two on the black, just to show how scoring is going to work. And then, honestly, we're ready to rock and roll, pretty much. And throw one more up here. Cool. All right. So now, how does scoring work? Well, the one thing that I did not mention is after the first round, any cards that are in the second cartouche will also not only dictate who goes first, but they will also dictate how many markers we're going to remove on the board. So getting back to our example, let's just say this were the second round here. So whoever has the higher number, if tied, nobody gets the points, mm -hmm. then resolve this. Well, for let, regardless of what Amanda has, let's say I go first. Okay, then you're going to subtract two from this number and remove that many discs if positive from your opponent, if negative from, from your you. own. And where you can remove them is also dictated by mm -hmm. the temple. So in this case, okay, whoever goes first, me in this case, let's say, I then subtract two from cartouche number four mm -hmm. or cartouche number two. So four minus two is two. Mm -hmm. I remove two of Amanda's discs and they can be in either the first or se second temple because she played or I played a two. So I look at this and maybe I say, okay, I'm going to remove these two discs. And when I do, they go down here into the kingdom of the dead. There are eight spots down here in the Kingdom of the Dead. At any point at the end of a round, mm -hmm. when the Kingdom of the Dead is in, is full, we then go into a scoring round. So now let's go into that scoring round. Mm -hmm. So there are, uh, let me see, three, seven, seven scoring steps. Okay. They're pretty simple though. Temple number one, each of the four temples will get scored and then there will be three additional other scorings that take place. Temple number one, whoever has the most counters in that temple gets the difference between them. So in argument's sake, let's say it were like this. Amanda has three, I have one. Three minus one, Amanda would score two points. However, if it were like this, because I had removed those, mm -hmm. one, one, nobody gets any points. Right. We move on to the next temple. The second temple is whoever has the most 
discs in that temple scores five points. Well, red has more, so red would score five points. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. The third temple is whoever has the most counters in that temple then scores one point for every counter that they have in that temple. Amanda has three, I have two, so she would get one, two, three points. Easy enough. <laughs> then the final temple is whoever has the most discs on blue, I'm sorry, whoever has the most counters in the fourth temple then gets the score for the blue locations in which they are. I have two, Amanda has one, so I get to count mm -hmm. the blue spots. For each blue spot that's occupied by me, I score nine points. One, two, and three, that's gonna be nine more points. So at seven, we will be at 16. That's the temple scoring. Then we're going to go into the black squares. Whoever has the most total in all the black squares on the board will score eight points. In this case, Amanda has two, none there, none there. I have one. Amanda would score eight points. She's back up to, or she's up to 18. Then we're going to score the bonus locations anywhere these plus ones are. So Amanda would score two for that and no others. I would score one for that and no others. Boom. That's scoring. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of scoring, we have to remove discs. You must remove one disc from every temple if possible. So in this case, both Amanda and I have discs in each location and you must remove one in each starting with the, uh, sorry, brain cramp, beginning with the leader. So in this case, I have to remove one disc and they must be one from every temple. So I'll do the obvious. I will remove one disc that goes back in here, then Amanda will, let's say she chooses the same one, then we each have to remove one in each in any order in which we choose, mm -hmm. alternating going back and forth. However, if I had no discs, let's say, in the fourth temple, so in this case, I can only remove a disc here, here, and here, but then I must remove a fourth disc from the highest available temple, mm. a second disc, if you will, mm -hmm. from that temple. So meaning I'm going to have to remove both of those, one for the third temple, and one as a replacement for the fourth temple, and then I remove one from the first, one from the second. When we do that, we're going to completely clear the kingdom of the dead or house of the dead here, and any discs that we remove from here come back into our pile as well as the ones from the dead, mm -hmm. and then we go into a new round. Keep doing until one of those four triggers mm -hmm. is triggered. And the four triggers, again, are first one to reach 40 points at the end of triggering the first or fourth cartouche. All one temple is one player, all yellow is one player, or all green is one mm -hmm. player. And that's it. That's pretty much the entire game. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that's, not that's too crazy. Cotton. It really is not. So we will shuffle up and deal. I feel like I'm watching a uh, whole <laughs> game. So any questions in chat, feel free to holler at us. Any questions on the rules? But uh, other than that, we'll get started. So welcome, everybody. So let me catch up on chat a little bit. Eder, or Eater, he says, hey, cheers from Brazil. You guys do the best board game live stream I've seen to date. Congratulations on the amazing work. Thank you Thank very you much. Know. We appreciate that very, very much. Put a lot of work into these as well as a lot of, a lot of time mm -hmm. and in the past a lot of money mm -hmm. for the uh, studio. So we definitely appreciate it. James says, we were just through the Forbidden Stars playthrough last night. We're excited to get it to the table after sitting on my shelf for almost the year. Mission accomplished there. Fantastic. All right, you want to cut, ma'am? Sure. Here you are. After yesterday's cheating, I definitely want to uh, cut. Yeah, I won, so therefore I cheated. Obviously, right? So I'm not going to switch any of the cameras because honestly, everything is in front. And since we only we play the four cards that we get dealt, there's really no need for folks to see that. They will kind of be revealed as we go. Oh, one other thing I did not mention is each of us have these white discs right here. They are one-time use. You don't like your hand, discard your hand and draw four more cards. Mm -hmm. All right. And then you lose it, obviously, right. like you said. Um, 
the other, I, I briefly kind of mentioned this. If, and you know what, I will, I will explain it here in a minute. Since Amanda has already placed hers, I'll turn my phrase up. If, remember, you subtract two from this number. So if you, uh, whenever you're removing this, starting in the second round, if this number is a zero, you don't remove any discs. If it's a negative one, i.e. you play a one here, one or two minus one is negative one, you have to remove one disc of your own yeah, color. You said that. And anytime you remove discs, they go here. Mm -hmm. If it fills up and you have more discs to remove, they just come back into yeah. your supply, that's fine. Okay, so if you'll flip yours. All right, you wanna run through the, uh, the cartouches? To okay, start? so the first cartouche, I have a one, you have a four, so you get six points. Yes, ma'am, double the difference, so three points, that's six, boom, we're off to the races. Yeah. What? Great. All right. Um, so in two, nothing <coughs> happens because I don't, we don't have anything out there. However. But we still need to make sure you're gonna go first. You get initiative because you played a higher card than Correct. me. Correct. So I will take over at this point, so this is my turn. So I can play in all four temples and place four discs. So I could, if I want, play all four into the fourth temple. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go ahead and start one, two, three, and four because potentially that's worth 12 points Correct. right there. And now, Amanda, you take over. I can only place in the first, cart uh, first temple and I can place three discs in there. Nope, this is two player only, Daniel. I'm glad you asked that. Uh, and this is the board. It's a little puzzle board. There are six pieces. We might take it apart at yep. the end to show you guys. And it fits in a very, very tiny box. You guys can actually see it over my head here. It is a very, very small box. It's a thick box, but I'm not quite sure why. It's yeah, so it's, thick. it There's really doesn't really need. need to be. It's, it's obnoxiously thick in that respect, yeah. So four cards there. All right, so you go ahead. Okay, you again win the first cartouche, so you get two points. I have initiative because of my card's higher than yours. Four versus mm -hmm. three. Four minus two is two, so I remove two of your discs. And from, from where? any of the first two. Oh, first two. Yep. Here and here. All right, they go into the kingdom of the dead. Mm-hmm. Okay, and finish your turn, ma'am. All right, so I can place two in the first two, so I shall just replace Edward's blues. Well, that seems kind of... Selfish? Yes, mm -hmm. very. Uh, Matthias says, greetings from Sweden. Yeah. Uh, we'll be there in June. Nice to be able to catch some live streaming before bedtime, or actually a bit past bed bedtime. All right, <laughs> we appreciate it, Matthias. All right, so I... Uh, play to three, so obviously I'm second. Three, uh, two minus three, that's one, so I get to remove one from Amanda's, only from the first temple, so we will go ahead and get rid of that puppy. I can only place in the first temple, and I can play three. So, one, two, and three, so I don't have to reach as far. Okay, that's that. And we go into... Just throw my discards there. Next. And if you run out of cards, which you will, you will just shuffle up the discards and redraw. And now I'm starting to pay the price for having all those big cards early. Yeah, you definitely pay for a lot of air in this box, um, <laughs> but at least it's a smaller box, right, that you're paying for the air in, so to speak. True. All right, so Amanda played a higher card, so she gets two points. Welcome to the game, Amanda. Thank you. And then four to two, uh, so Amanda's going to have uh, initiative, so please take over. Okay, so I can remove two discs from Edward in any of the first three cartouches, or I first three temples, I, mean. I would re recommend those two. I'm sure you would, but that's probably not what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove this one and this one. 
then I can place in the first three in three of them. <laughs> yep. Let's see. So for those y'all watching live, have many of y'all played this? Any thoughts on the game? If you have, figure wait until we're done with the first scoring to make sure you guys are following along for those that are new. One and two and three. And remember, you can place multiple discs in the same temple, mm -hmm. just it's your choice. And by yours, uh, the, in general. the royal, y'all. Correct. So I can place in the first three temples. I only can place one, however. Well, that didn't work out because I planned on taking some of the spots that Amanda had taken. So instead, I will actually, yeah, we'll go there. It'll work. Hello in the Great White North, Trent. He didn't understand you because you didn't say A. Hey, sorry. Welcome from the Great White North, Trent, eh? There you or go. Great White North, eh, Trent? There you go. There you go. That'll work. Oh, man. There are so many little, like, agonizing decisions with just four cards to be able to play out there. <laughs> There. All right, so two to one, I score two points. Awesome. Then uh, four to three you means I'm going initiative. to go first, and I remove two of Amanda's in the first three. One, two. We will have a scoring round at the end of this because Amanda's going to be removing one of mine for sure. So I removed two of hers, so now I can place three in the first three temples. So one, two. Might as well because we're going to have a scoring round. Uh, check that. Hold on. Not so fast, my friend. Hey. Done. Okay. I can remove one of yours from any of the first four. So any time, you can remove any one that you wish. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I will remove that one. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. okay. Oh, I guess you don't, oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Actually, um, you should have. Oh, you, yeah, you could have, but yep. Thank you. I got away with one there, because that's going to actually get me three points. No, it's not. <laughs> I have the most discs in there, therefore I will be able to score the blues, not you. Fair. Had you placed on a black, you would have scored the eight for the black. So, all right, here we go. So now... The uh, Kingdom of the Dead is full, so we will go ahead and go into a scoring round. So the first temple, whoever has the most discs, subtract whoever the other player. So four for Amanda, two for me. She scores two points. Mm -hmm. Second one. I have the most in that temple at one, so I get five points. The third one, I have the most. Uh, and how many discs do I have? Three, so three points. And then... I have the most in that temple, so I get to score the blue discs, or the blue squares. No, 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 three. And then I also get four more points because I'm on the plus twos in both of those areas. Well, hold on. Before we get to that, we do the, the black squares first. Mm -hmm. So the black squares were tied two and two, so there's no majority, so nobody scores the eight points. Then we go into the bonus squares, which Amanda, she has one, two, for six points more for Amanda. And I'm on one. All right, so that's that. So now these come off. So they're for me, Amanda, those go into hers. Nice Thank you. And now starting with whoever's in the lead, your honor, ma'am, you must remove one from every temple. So, okay. alternating, meaning you choose one, then I choose one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so, I will remove one there. Okay. There's 
your turn. So I have none in two, meaning I have to remove two in three. So I'll remove this one, which obviously I is a non-decision. I ahead. have none in three, so I have to remove two and four. Yep. So one at a time, but here and there, done. So we've now removed our requisite four, mm -hmm. and now we draw again, start over. Yep, uh, Ryan, Tulip Bubble live stream, I believe, is on Friday night. If you go and check out our weekly look ahead, which we just did uh, live, nah, what, like, like two, an, hour uh, ago? Yeah, an hour ago at two o'clock, that'll, that'll lay out the week's uh, playthroughs and, and as well as everything for the podcast. And yep, Friday night. Uh, Oh, I guess I can turn those face up, eh? Mm-hmm. All right, so Amanda's got the lead two to one. She scores two points. And then we're both tied in Cartouche two. We go back to Cartouche one. She has initiative. So you begin. I remove <coughs> one me. of yours from any temple. So yep. I will remove that one. And the reason any temple, because the four says so. So I will replace four in any of the four temples. So let's go here. Here. There and there. All right, then I go. I have to remove one from any of the cartouches and we're gonna go ahead and kill that guy i can place four in any of the four so you know what let's keep this really really simple one two three and four boom done the length for this is probably 15 20 minutes uh, especially when we're not live streaming so that's why I said we may be doing best two out of three, depending on how long this goes. Uh, I don't know if I made the right decision on that or not, but we'll see. All right, well, that's nice. So four over three, six points. All right, and then four higher than three, so I'm going first. I remove any two of yours in the first cartouche. I can place two in the first, uh, not cartouche, sorry, in the temple. So I can place two in the first temple. Here we go. Your okay. turn. I can remove one of yours from any of the temples. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can move from any of the temples. No. Oh, right. So I have none here. I was looking I at this one. I have none here, so you can remove and That one. Then I can place four in any of the first three. There you go. You're welcome, Rye. Don't give me that death stare. All right. So you can see we're both halfway through with the scoring if we end it that way, which is, I would say, the most likely way that the game ends. But we have seen it to where yellow, green, and a full temple. This, this game also, I don't want to say suffers from, but you have to be, sometimes you get lost forced through the trees, kind of like what happened yesterday in uh, Forbidden Stars, to where you get tunnel vision and yep. you forget that somebody sneaks up on you. That's right. Uh, okay, yep, I'm happy with that. 
All right, one to one, nobody gets any points, and then Amanda goes first. Okay, I remove two of yours from the first two. Then Which I- Which means we will have a scoring round. Place one in the first two. Hmm. All right, so I get to remove one of Amanda's in the first three temples, so we'll take care of that. And then I can place two in the first three. That'll work. All right, so that ends the round. We go into a scoring round. So you want to take the lead on this, Mio? Sure. All right. So um, I am the only one with anything here, so I just get two points. Right. But it would be you vert minus me. Correct. Here I have the most in this temple, so I get five. Here you have two, so you get two points. And here you have the most in this temple, so you get to score the blues. You have one. So three points. And then that, and then you also have the, all of the most in the black areas, so that's eight. And, and then we score the bonus, which one is one. For me. All right, so these will clear. These, Amanda. Yep, there you go. And then remove one from every temple. Well, I mean, I remove one. I remove one, I cannot remove in two, and I cannot remove in one. So actually I will go there. All right, here we go. Draw again. Four over two, I score four points. So remember, when you resolve the first or the fourth cartouche is when the end game can trigger. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the second one, uh, Amanda, you go first. Okay. I can remove one of yours from the first two. You don't have any there, so I cannot remove any. Correct. So I can place four in the first two. All right, I do not remove any because two minus two is zero, so I can place one in the first one. Ew. Almost made it. Done. And there's four cards left for each of us because neither of us has used our disc. Two minus one, <clears throat> almost. If I had a three, I should have actually used my disc as a to run the risk, but oh well. And two minus one, so I don't remove any of hers, but I go first. I can place one in the first one. Done. Okay. Um, one minus two is negative one, so I have to remove one of my own. So, from? Uh, from the first two Correct. tables, so yep. I'll remove that one. So that's the end of the round. So it's really, really interesting to note. So we have quite the conundrum right here. So Amanda cannot let me score any points because if I score any points, the game will end. However, if I do not score any points at the end of the fourth cartouche, when she resolves hers, if she's able to place one there, she will win. So... 
Grudge match. Yes. Cut, man. Me too. Da, 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 da. Uh, hold on, wait. <laughs> Whoo! Okay, gotta be careful here. Okay, so Amanda is discarding hers, so that goes away. I'm done, my decision's made. Yes, uh, Sentient is from Renegade Games. Just came out, I think, at Origins? I think Sounds in right. June. All right, so hold on. Let, let's have one oh, Hold on, no, we'll, we'll start at the end. Yeah, so, and see how it goes. I assume this is going to be a four. She had to. So, that's a wash. I go first. I remove two of Amanda's, any two, for, first two temples. One, two. Huh. Uh, that sucks. We need a ton more of these. <laughs> Thank you, Marion. Thank you, Mar Marlon. Looks like oh, an eye. It is. It's Marlin. Marlin. You know. Sorry, so Marlin. Uh, <laughs> this sucks. I placed two in the first two temples, uh, so I will go one, two. But it's all for naught. Go ahead. Oh wait. No, it's oh, not. Oh no, it's not. No, it's it's not. not. It's like where are you getting all bent out of shape mind. for? No, not bent out. It just I really I I was thinking you could remove three. Gotcha. No. So so you must remove one of yours from right. well there. Right. So I'll move that one. And I will place three in the first three. Okay. Whew. So Amanda cannot let me score. Da 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 da. Let's see what the draw is. Oh, it's not so obvious, actually. Is it? Oh, this is really hard. Um... Oh, hold on. Nee, 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 nee. We're going to get copyrighted. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. That is safe. I can do... I think that's safe. Yeah... Okay, I think this is right. So I'm playing defensive instead of offensive here because if she's able to remove those two, i.e. by playing a four here and then places two there, she would win. And it's po likely she put a four here. So my thinking is that I sacrifice my chance to win here to be able to play defensive to be able to win in the next round. That's my thought process. So we'll see if it pays off. Yep. Okay. So I, I guessed right on that. So, because uh, it would have been a wash then. So Amanda gets two points and then I go first. She's only going to be able to remove one of mine. I get to remove two of hers in the first three. So I will remove those two. Check that. I will remove those two. I can place 
one in the first three. Now we'll go there. Now I feel a little bit more safe about okay. it. I can remove one of yours from the first two. So I will remove this one. And I can place one in any of the first two. Right. And I have not, neither Amanda nor I have, have played any of the uh, GIF or GIPF series games. They're abstracts. They're pure oh, yeah, abstracts. Yeah, yeah. That's what um, Methler was talking about yeah, in Origins, Yinch right? or all yeah, those. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. So that's the end of that round. So can't speak to those. I don't know if anyone in chat has any opinions on them. I've, I've heard positive things from a bunch of, or uh, regarding a bunch of them. So here was my crappy draw. So I will go ahead and discard these and spend that. It improved. Okay, again, playing a little defensive and thinking forward. Um, I assume Amanda plays a four here. If she got a four, then uh, I only had one four. So we'll see how that works out so that I force a scoring to happen. There you go. Well, she had a bunch of them. But I, I force the scoring to happen to make sure. And because of my lead, I'm hoping I can win. So we'll see how it goes. So Amanda scores four points. She just closed up that gap, though. And uh, we're both tied here. We go back. Amanda, you're first. Go ahead. Okay. So I can remove two of Edwards from the first two temples. So I'll remove this one and this one. <laughs> and then I can place three in the first two temples. And I'm pretty sure that just triggered the end of the game. Each player, da, 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 the winner is the first two. Yep. Amanda just won. So I don't even get a chance to trigger the scoring, which they're pretty sure I would have won. Mm -hmm. um, having this one here and having the black, I'm pretty sure I would have won and would have. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. We'll call it there. I'm not bitter. Maybe a little bit, but... So yeah, uh, what are your thoughts on this? This game never gets old to me. We play, we played this for years, mm -hmm. and it's still a lot of fun. Yeah, and you can be sneaky. You can be right in your face. You can be however you want to play it. Is you know how you can play it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's randomness in regards to the cards, but there's enough. Mitigate mitigation it. of that and the way it comes out and plus having the one free mm -hmm. redraw when you desperately need it yep. is there for your uh for your disposal um yeah this game definitely i think best two out of three is the best way to play yeah. it uh so that flukes like that don't happen <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it, it's one that's staying in our collection. Sure. It sat unplayed for the first like year, mm -hmm. year and a half. And Long then time. after that, we were once we played it, I, at first I was like, I'm not quite sure. And then as I played it more, I was like, oh. Yeah, and then like there were puzzles more, fit, felt puzzle pieces fell Exactly. Place. There was more and more light bulbs mm -hmm. going off the more I played it. Yep. And definitely, definitely enjoy this game. Yep. So, Thanks, everybody. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's two in a row. So Amanda has has kicked my butt and actually show you guys the box size and we'll take apart the uh the okay. board real quick so so you guys can see so the box is you know hand for for reference i mean that's it right so you got this massive pillar and it's got like four different rule books stacked up underneath this in other languages and everything so we'll just show you real briefly that all this comes apart into six pieces like so there you go and that just sits on top of the cards. That. There you go. So, all right. Uh, yeah, this is a, this is definitely one that we really, really enjoy. Mm -hmm. And it's a really good filler for, you know, we want to play something 
45 minutes, yeah. play three games of it, mm -hmm. or best two out of three, and, and we're all set. So, yep. so yeah, so thanks everybody for joining us. We really appreciate it. Everybody, mm -hmm. uh, you know, during the chat or during the stream, yep. we appreciate y'all's company, and hopefully y'all enjoyed that. And as well, a uh, quick reminder, thank you to the 412 patrons that we have now. Uh, our patron drive is going on, so consider supporting us over at pledgehc.com. We have a whole bunch of different perks for folks, and if folks don't like the monthly subscription mm -hmm. idea, then we have one-time annual payments mm -hmm. that you can make uh, that, that be, give you the exact same perks that being a patron through Patreon. You're still a patron of ours. It's just one time versus right. an annual payment. So pledgehc.com. We definitely would appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, you got anything else? I don't. All right, cool. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. And we'll see you guys, I guess, I will see you next on Tuesday. Uh, it's going to be a little bit for me. It's going to be a few days for me. Yep. So Tuesday, the uh, library. Uh, we're going through the HCHQ library together. It'll so be Wednesday for me. I will see you all then. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate it. Thanks, all right. guys. Bye.